Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with our new four and five foot plugger. It's the same as our 36 inch plugger, but we've put the category one and category two uh, step pin hitch on it. And then we'll show you the, the redesigned back. We've kind of showed it on the little one, but we want to show it to you on the big one. This plugger weigh in about 1200 pounds and I should have weighed it before I put it on here. The proper weight without any crating will be put on the page for this once it's selling, but it's between 11 and 1200 pounds. And this is a five foot aerator. So we went ahead and added the category one and category two step pin. We've added the quick attach where you can hook it up to any quick attach. Now on the 36 inch, we've left the quick attach off of it because most of the time you're going to run your clevis hitch in narrower, like if you're on a B or BX Kubota or something on the littler tractors and want to be able to get around well with a smaller tractor. But anything four or five foot should be able to pick this up with no problem with the quick hitch without needing that extra rotation that we've put on the 36 inch. We've added the stand here on all of them. So regardless if it's quick attach or not, it's going to be much easier to hook up and you've got to have that with a quick attach. So the, one of the most unique things we've done, come on around Penn that uh, like the Ryan aerator, come on around. The Ryan aerator uses an axle which is an inch and a quarter and the axle is held firm all the time. The axle never rotates. So that means the wheels are doing all the rotating on the axle. So every wheel on this is independent. Every wheel is greasable. And every time you're making a severe turn, it, they're going to be rotating on the axle. Most of the time, you're going to be traveling straight. And when you're traveling straight on ours, the whole axle is going to be rotating. So you've got a huge two inch pillar block bearing here and they're not cheap, but it just makes it a long term when you're paying this much for an aerator. And if you look at the other brands in this size, we're nearly half price and we think we're twice as good. So I think this still at no matter what becomes a bargain. We've even end capped the end of the axle. So regardless if any of the locking rings or anything comes loose in that pillar block bearing, the axle still can't move. So we're protecting ourselves in, in a lot of different ways. When you go with an inch and a quarter axle and you make it do all the turning on the axle, then you're putting a lot more wear on the bushings that are in there. Now they're, they're most, when I say there, most of all of the uh, casted pieces that I've seen, they're actually hollow in the center and have two small bushings on the outside. So we've got wear room. Every plate, this is 19 plates of 3 sixteenths. And every plate is down on the axle. So you've got a much wider wearing area. So once you grease that and you grease your bearing, 90% of the time the bearing is going to be doing all the work. And then you've still got more area that's surface area on a much larger axle. Uh, when we plugged my father's yard, he said... God, those are such long plugs. That's great for aeration. But he said if the seed ever gets to the bottom of that hole, it's not going to make it out of that four-inch hole. And so I thought about it a little bit. And so what we did was we alternated the depth of these. That giving you one big aeration time to go really deep. And even if the seed makes it to the bottom, you've just lost a little bit. This spoon here is an inch and a half deeper. No matter what, the, 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 the seed is going to sprout and make it out of this hole. So, yeah, it's twice as many holes. It's a lot more metal for me to burn. The cost has gone up. Right now, we're getting ready to discontinue the, uh, the eight spoon per wheel plugger. Uh, we've, we've had them both for sale now for a couple of months and almost everyone is buying this, paying the extra money and getting the alternating depth spoon. And we think that's really what uh, just simply works the best. I don't know of any other manufacturer that's done it yet and the way their cast iron weights are made and the way they bolt on the side, they, they can add 16 spoons per wheel, but they can't change the depth of them. And with them just a little bit loose in the hole like that, they actually clatter a little bit when you're 
using them, but it makes the piece break off the end and not be so long in the yard. Really works well. So we take we take we'll go through a lot of trouble to not buy a casted wheel in China or India or wherever. We're bolting. This is 19 sheets of three sixteenths laminated together and bolted uh, with carriage bolts here to make it easy for us to assemble. And then it's just to just add as many as we need to per the width that we're building. So when you get to the full back picture here, you can see there's a ton of bolts that it takes to put all this together. Lots of lamination going on. Tons of spoons, and these are the best spoons we found. They're American-made. We got a big company to make them for us that's tempering them just right. And so far, we've had zero failures with them, and everybody loves them. In fact, we're selling a lot of them to go on other brands of pluggers. But it's just a, it's a great design. This has got an extra strap here for support that goes to your three-point hitch. It does have a grease fit in here because the axle will be rotating in that piece also. So you can see that you know with all the spoons on here and for the width this is, I mean, just it's a super value when you look at the Rhine plugger and you do a pricing against it. We're just simply a better value and a better piece, especially with the alternating piece, in my opinion. Now, the Rhine plugger does cover the back of it with the shield. We chose not to do that. Just it kind of makes extra, extra metal, extra weight back here where you don't really need it. And if you can't see what's under there, then you're more likely, people, I've seen people riding on these things, and if you see these sharp spoons, that's probably the last thing you want to ride on. So we've covered it to almost all the way to the end of the spoons, but we're not going to cover it to here because we just don't want to give somebody the place to be able to ride on these things. And with the weight these have got, you don't need extra weight, so... We think we've got you covered all the way around. So we hope you'll look at all of our equipment. We're trademarked as quality by design here at Everything Attachments. I design it, we draw it in-house, we build it in-house, we ship it directly to you with no distributors, no sales reps. We just have our own in-house salesmen. We ship it directly to you. In most cases, the shipping's free, even if you're out of our shipping zone. Make sure you check with us. You'll be surprised the little bit of difference it makes to get it further. And on something like this weighing 1,200 pounds, you know, it is a lot of weight, but we get really good shipping rates. And I think you'll be surprised even if you're in California or Canada for what we can get it for you, uh, get it shipped for you. Give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll make sure that you get the right size plugger for the size tractor that you've got. <music>